Okay, today our viewer question is, could you offer some tips on prostate health and if there are any estrogenic foods to avoid? Oh my, that's an important question. There certainly are some foods to avoid. We find that we look at people who either develop enlarged prostates, uh, benign prostatic hypertrophy, or actual prostate cancer. We find that the foods that most people who develop these conditions have been eating the standard Western diet. And in that food selection, uh, the biggest culprits seem to be saturated animal fats, largely poultry fat, egg fat, but also refined carbohydrates, white bread and chips and things like that. These are not good for your prostate and not good for any other part of your body. And you really want to avoid those, especially if you've got a family history of prostate cancer or prostate problems. As far as foods that you do want to eat, a number of them certainly seem to be helpful. Uh, uh, we know that uh, onions and garlic are helpful. Uh, soy products, the person asked about estrogens, uh, actually, it turns out that the uh, phytoestrogens in soy can be actually beneficial for, uh, for your prostate glands. So moderate amounts of tofu a few times a week, the unfermented soy products seem to be beneficial. And then the most important food uh, outside of a good, solid, whole food, plant-based diet with lots of green and yellow vegetables and salads and soups, all the usual, uh, are the wonderful flax seeds that you can grind up and put into smoothies or sprinkle on salads. But there's uh, a number of things in ground flax seeds, from the lignans uh, to the trace minerals to the omega-3s that really seem to benefit prostate health. So uh, kick out those animal products, kick out the white bread, uh, get in the, uh, the onion, the garlic, tomatoes are helpful, uh, and soy, unfermented soy products, and definitely ground flax seeds. Uh, and uh, if prostates could smile, uh, that's the best way to make yours uh, a much happier gland. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you wanna see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.